good, YouTube? It's your boy Zay, man, and we back with another video, man. Back with another video for y'all boys, man. Um, one big announcement I wanted to let y'all know and just update y'all on. I am currently off social media. Like, I don't have Snapchat, Instagram. So if y'all trying to contact me on there, I am not going to be answering because I'm completely taking a break from social media. So... With that being said, y'all might just have to comment something on the YouTube comments, you know, um, till I get back on social media, you know, that's when I'll reply and start, you know, contacting people, but, you know, nature and um, everything is calling me back to, you know, just going back to source, you know what I'm saying, just connecting back to Mother Earth, Mother Nature, you know what I'm saying, getting away from technology, it's not not fully but just limiting it you know so i can like actually focus and get back to who i really am you know what i'm saying i can't do that when i'm looking at instagram and seeing the snapchat and seeing all this and this it's just all distractions to me you know what i'm saying the best thing for me right now is to just take a break release and just try to work on myself as well and then just what's going on currently in my life right now so hopefully y'all understand that but in this video, you know what I'm saying, I ain't going to talk on that too much. Might do a separate video. But um, I need some water. But um, we're going to talk about why you have no friends, chosen ones. Yeah, be right there. You know what I'm saying? That's watching it. You that's watching this video right now. Oh, my God, my throat is burning, huh? We ain't got no friends because you're different. You stand out. <laughs> they know. We know. As chosen ones. You know what I'm saying? Why a lot of people just don't rock with us. You know what I'm saying? Why are you going to have zero friends? You might have people that come in your life just for a little bit that you think that's your friend. That you think that's going to, you know what I'm saying? Some, some people do come in your life to help you evolve. But a lot of people don't really stay. And a lot of people got bad tendencies of like oh saying oh i rock with you this way i'm loyal i'm this everything that they say all those good traits care characteristics everything they just throw it out the window you be like damn well, i thought they was cool i thought that i was gonna stick out and ride with them but now a lot of people is coming your life just to teach you lessons and everything especially chosen ones for me for example like, I really only attract a lot of wounded people because God wants me to transform them and help realize their own potential through them. You know what I'm saying? As God speaking through me, I'm speaking through you so you can change, so you can grow, so you can look at life from a different perspective and a different reality. You know what I'm saying? But the reason you ain't going to have so many friends, chosen ones, is because you see everything for what it is. Not only that, but you can literally, most likely you're an empath. So you can just feel the energy before even meeting new people. This is why it's hard to meet new people, chosen ones, because you know that it's so hard for people to match that energy and that vibration and frequency that you want. Like, I can try to tell you, I, I try to meet so many people, you know what I'm saying? And they just like so below the spectrum where I can't even relate to nothing. You know what I'm saying? I can relate to things as far as I can heal them. But as wise as me just being around your energy normally, that will drop my frequency and vibration super low. You know what I'm saying? Back down to the spectrum. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's hard for us to make friends because we know we can't really find them. We got to really, we have to really, really search and find them to to make friends as chosen one because we see the truth in everything, you know, we chosen for a reason, you know, we can, we got special abilities. People don't even think we can read energy. We walk in a room, we can, we can read who toxic, who cool, who nice, you know what I'm saying? Who is non-judgmental, who is, you know, just, we can just see everything. But the reason you ain't really got no friends is because you're different. You, they know they know you different. You know you different. You a man off a of high light. Like, you you got a strong aura when you walk in a building. Everybody get to staring at you. It's because who you are. The light that you're a man off of. 
know what I'm saying? The knowledge that you know. Some things people aren't really connected with, you know? And a lot of people don't even want to be friends with, you know what I'm saying? As crazy as it sounds, you you think that people want to be friends with chosen ones, but you can't, you can't really, you can't win. I ain't gonna lie. If you try to go against us, you're not gonna win. I'm gonna just be honest because we can see everything for what it is. We can tell if you lie, we can tell if you cheat, and all that. We really good at reading energy, and we, like I said, most of us is empaths as chosen ones. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying everybody is. I'm empath. So if if I'm trying to meet friends, right, and they projecting this negative energy off, then I'm gonna pick up on it regular, like. I don't even have to indulge in the conversation. Me just being around that energy, you know what I'm saying? Or what they're feeling, what they're talking about, I'm observing that. So if they're just being negative, then I'm just going to feel like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm negative and all this other stuff. So, you know, that's why you got to keep your distance away. That's why chosen people don't really have friends. You so, you're, you're just mature on another level than these people. Like, you, you understand why you're here. You understand what life is about. You know what I'm saying? At least a glimpse of it. You know what I'm saying? They in La La Land. They don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But you, you make, you're observant. You can see life from the present to the future of who you want to shape in your life and how you want to look at certain aspects and how you want to do this, you know? It's hard to make friends with chosen ones or chosen. It's hard for chosen ones to make friends with other people because they can't literally, it's hard for them to match what we are. It's literally hard. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people ain't going to even understand the perspective and ideas that we have to carry. You know what I'm saying? That we have to understand. Some people just, oh man, that's bullcrap. You believe, you believe in that. You do that. Are we already starting off bad? You know what I'm saying? I kind of be friends with you. You don't even believe me. You know what I'm saying? You can't even trust me. I ain't saying you have to fully believe me, but at least, you know what I'm saying, consider my idea as, you know, I know what I'm talking about. Because I met a lot of people, and you know what I'm saying, I'll start to spend some men there like, bro, what if all that is fake and all this? Bro, I go through a lot of experience, you know what I'm saying? As a chosen one, you know, I went through a lot. And when I try to explain to people um, what I'm experiencing, they even say, oh, bro, that's not real and everything. And what is that? How? I literally experienced this. I literally went through this. This is why it's going to be hard to make friends as a chosen one. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are just going to look at you different, you know? And eventually time will catch up. Eventually time will catch up. They'll understand, you know what I'm saying? That you're not regular. You're not regular like me. People, people know the energy shift when I'm like, when I'm not vibing out with them. They're like, all right, bro, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I was at Amazon this one time, bro. And the dude was trying to keep making jokes. I was like, bro, that shit is not funny. I ain't say that out loud, but you can see the energy. I was like, bro, that's not it. And then he immediately was just, he apologized. Like, oh, bro, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, you know what I'm saying? I didn't mean, I didn't know that was not funny and all this other. He started panicking because you, you see the energy. Even one of my managers um, packing up my van and everything. And, you know what I'm saying? He was so scared to open the dang cargo van door because it was hot as hell outside, but he was trying to give me some air. And I turned around. I was like, who is, who is by my van before he even got by my van? And then he opened up the door. He was like, Oh, bro, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I ain't mean to do all this. I just wanted to give you a fresh air. I'm not here to do nothing to you. I'm like, bro, chill. I ain't even say nothing to you. It's just the energy you carry. You know what I'm saying? It's like we can see through them. We can see through people. We can read energy really well. We, we've been through experience after experience after experience. So when someone tries to downplay us or lie to us, we're going to be like, nah, we too experienced with this. We know what we talking about. This is why it's going to be hard to make friends, chosen ones. You have to understand. But it's also good to, you know what I'm saying, keep your friends limited, keep your circle small. You know what I'm saying? That way you can evaluate what energy is shifting. You know what I'm saying? Who is around your circle that, you know, is high, high energy and who is low energy. You know, just start to 
make your circle smaller and put people around you that actually accept for you and that's actually trying to take your vibration to that next level instead of bringing it down like a whole bunch of people a whole bunch of people just faking disguise they they act like you're cool with them and everything as soon as you leave they get to talking about you oh bro say we talk about that spiritual stuff man half that shit might not even be real why they do that there? I thought you was supposed to be my homie. I thought you was supposed to be cool. You know what I'm saying? Like as soon as as soon as you leave, they get to talk. So that whole time they were smiling on your face. You know what I'm saying? Saying how you was a cool friend and everything. And as soon as you get as soon as they did, you know what I'm saying? They get to talking. And I know when people talk about me. I for sure know who talking about me. You feel know I me? Mean? I know who, I know when. You know, I got higher power, you know what I'm saying? I got spiritual, like, high spiritual guides guiding me, you know what I'm saying? And, like, and they tell me, like, who's doing this, who's doing that, you know what I'm saying? I go through experiences, you know what I'm saying? And I see that. But, basically, that's why it's going to be hard having no friends chosen once, you know what I'm saying? But you know that. You know you're special. You know it's not going to be easy to... It's not going to be easy to accept you because you see through life through a whole different perspective, which a whole bunch of people don't. So they're going to already be kind of, eh, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people that you probably meet, you probably going to have to transform because they might say some things that you don't even frequently do no more. And that that can bring down your vibration if you enter into that stage again. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you can't even... You can't give people knowledge that they're not ready to comprehend yet. So that's why it's so hard to meet new friends because it turns out the other friend, the friend that you're trying to meet, they haven't mastered what you mastered. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're going back into your past, you know what I'm saying, just to try to heal them. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's that's some of the reasons, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully some of y'all resonated with this video because I'll be seeing some of y'all in my comments like, I'm a chosen one, I'm gonna do this. Let me know if this video resonated with y'all. And I told y'all I'm back on my YouTube grind. Like I gotta really figure out the schedule. But um, yeah, we're gonna start dropping more, man. I just, uh, just going through a lot of life. But uh, we gonna, we gonna get it together, man. We gonna get it together. But I got some big news coming too soon. But appreciate everybody rocking out me. Words of wisdom, keep the faith. Have gratitude. Uh, be grateful that you're alive right now watching this video. You woke up today. You woke up today, literally. And you watched this video. You know what I'm saying? Through a cellular device, through a phone, computer, TV, whatever. You got access to internet technology. You know what I'm saying? You can see what's going on. A lot of people don't even see what's going on right now. You know? That you got a house you got a car you could if you want some pie pies all you gotta do is get in your car and drive up there some people don't even got a car they gotta walk ride a bike you know what i'm saying take a bus you know what i'm saying you just be grateful for what you have now i tell you this all the time the more grateful you are about what you currently have even if it's not a lot <laughs> the universe is going to bless you 10 times more why because you're you're not worried about what you don't have. You're you're completely grateful for what you do have. That way they're gonna supply more because they know that if you're grateful for what you do have, you know what I'm saying, that you're ready to receive more. You know what I'm saying? You're not you're not saying, oh, I need this, I need that. When you say you're needing it, saying that you don't have it. You know, you gotta remember the universe is only supplies what you really need, what you really need. You know, until you can actually prove yourself, they'll get you your wants and your desires. But you gotta put in that work, you know. But yeah, uh, hopefully some of y'all resonated with this video. Um, it's your boy Zay. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. We'll make a video too long. I'll see y'all in the next video. Like I told y'all, I'm off social media, so just contact me on YouTube, and um, I'll see y'all next video. Peace and love. We out. Thank you.